Hello everybody, my name is Kiribro. Welcome back to Pokemon Moon Super Blind Nuzlocke, the game where I haven't played Pokemon in 12 years and now I'm hopping back in on hard mode. You guys might notice that I'm in a different place and that it's a different time of day than last time. I apologize for that. I got, like, started recording uh, the next episode and within minutes, uh, Nick came in and uh, he interrupted me for something. Like, he's... He's gonna be moving soon. Like, he wanted my help with a few things, and then by the time that I was done with that, like, it was too late in the day, I had no energy left, all that kind of stuff, it's just like, eh. So, it's actually been a week since I did that last recording, and I've just kind of, uh, like, been, been poking at some stuff in the meantime. I... I got all of my guys, uh, like, up to level 30 now, including slash excluding Plateface. Plateface is up high enough that she can now participate in battles but she's not up to 30 with the rest of them. I just figured, because, you know, like, that last trial was 30. Sorry, it was 31, I think. I already can't remember all these details. And I just happened to have the perfect guy for it, but I'm, like, not going to be able to rely on that. So I figured, you know, the 25 or the 28 that I had it at, probably running a little bit of a risk. Also, bad news, everybody. I checked the map. And it turns out that the uh, Mount Hokulani is in the same yellow bordered area as Route 10. So Zognoid? I can't use Zognoid. I was kind of stoked for Zognoid. Zognoid has been moved over to the personal box. It has been excluded from this Nuzlocke round. Apologies to anybody who saw me catch that and called me out on it before. These are a little bit pre-recorded, so I wasn't able to uh, take that into account at the time. I think that's just about it. There, it turns out that there actually were no other doors at the observatory anyways. There were hallways off to the left and right, but they didn't actually lead anywhere. So, we're back in front of the park here. We're gonna bring uh, Kakui back his wrestler's mask, and god damn it, there's Team Skull Thugs. Oh, this is gonna be- this- this is gonna be a thing, isn't it? Ugh. Alright, Kakui. You take these grunts on, you show them who's boss, you do a pile driver with them into the river because I know you're that Master Royale. You're not fooling nobody. You weren't fooling anybody before. I've said that a dozen times already. Yo, yo, hold up, yo, Mr. Kakui. You say you want to make a Pokemon League? You got rocks in your skull? Four. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Something with this guy in four. Four turns. Huh? Bring it on, the both of you. I've been researching Pokemon moves, yeah. So I'm always ready, oh yeah. I'll take you both on a battle royale and you'll be j down with just a swift and incinerator too. You gotta beat the man to be the man, boys. Man, this is a cocky ass professor. I think I like him. I think I'm liking Kakui more and more, especially cause he's coming with us. It's good. Yo, for real? F -f Fine, you asked for it. Get him good, professor. You numbskull should learn your place. Oh boy. Oh boy, who's this? He's got what looks like a little bit, I'm not gonna call it a hunchback, but he's definitely got that, like, that lean forward stance just in the back here. Battle Royale, huh? Nice idea there, Kikui. You can beat down three Pokemon at once, eh? Well, I am the Master Royale. No, no I'm not. Forget I said anything. Who is this guy? Oh, well thanks game, it's Guzma. <laughs> what an unfortunate name. The boss has graced us with his present. Oh, oh, he's the. So he's he's a team skull guy, eh? The hated boss who beats you down and beats you down and never lets up. Yeah, big bad Guzmas here. <laughs> Kakui's just not impressed. Greetings, cowering public. We have an exciting bout for you tonight. In the opposing corner, the Pokemon Professor Kakui, and in this corner, the boss of Team Skull and the hardest guy around, Guzma. Shut up, it's a cool name, all right? <laughs> he's got he's got his own theme. He's got to be an important guy. Here we are, Kakui. Fellow rejects who never could become captains. Ooh. We got all these moldy old traditions in Alola. The kahunas, the captains. It's about time we cut out all that silly garbage and make something new for ourselves. Tr <coughs> Sorry, uh, smoke's been getting to me. <coughs> Trust me, I get that. Don't get me wrong, though, Kakui. We got no need for a Pokemon League. After all, everyone already knows who the strongest trainer is on these islands. Ah, speak for yourself, Guzma. It's not like I couldn't become a captain. I chose not to. 
I had other dreams, see? And about a million dollars to spend, because daddy loved me. <laughs> Unlike yours. <laughs> oh, why did I take it there? I'm a bad person. <laughs> I wanted to figure out which moves would be strong enough to beat old Hala, and I finally found what I was looking for. The strongest moves you can use are the ones a trainer and their Pokemon choose together. In the heat of the moment, when it really counts. That's when I knew I had to make a Pokemon League. Yeah! To give everybody a chance to be pushed to the limit with their team and find the perfect move. Let's see it, Guzma. Show me your moves! And prove you aren't just all talk. I had to. I couldn't. I, I couldn't not. <laughs> if you really can, that is. What are you, a little, a little bitch boy? Find a comb, bitch boy. Right, Kubeans? Don't you agree? What on God's earth are you talking about, Kakui? Don't bring me into your childhood rivalries. So you're one of the kids on this island challenge. You don't look like Hal's grandson. This here's Kubeans. He just moved to Alola recently. Discovery, new experiences, and adventure. He's loving every minute of it. He's gone. He went home. <laughs> Kubeans and his Pikachu can unleash some real powerful moves. So if you think you're the strongest trainer on these islands, Guzma, why don't you battle him? Don't, no, don't pull me, don't pull me into your shit, Kikui. Smooth fanatics getting me all riled up. Yeah, that's right. I got, I got, I, I got a Z. I got a ring Z. Why even bother with the Island Challenge? What's the point of it? Uh, I have no idea either. I'm just getting dragged along. <laughs> you don't even know why you're doing it. Watch closely, Kikui. Someday, I'm gonna destroy you. But first, I'll destroy everything you care about. Want to see what destruction looks like? Here it is in human form. It's your boy, Guzma. Great. So what's this Team Skull admin going to throw at me? Oh. That's... Oh. That's not admin. That is actual boss. That is boss, and he's got a surprisingly energetic battle theme. Okay. Okay, sitting up in my chair now. Galisa Paul, what the fuck is that thing? What? Why is it so big? Okay, level 31, there we go. Suddenly feeling okay about my leveling up. Seriously though, what? Why? Is this another one of those type null things? Like this doesn't look like, it It looks more cohesive than that one, but it's got like bear claws and, and bug legs and, ah. Ah, don't zoom in on it, it's hideous. Jesus. I have no idea what this thing is. Oh god, okay. I am gonna have to assume it has some bug in it just because those like little vestigial T-Rex arms it's got going on there, I don't know why they put those in if it wasn't to make it look like a bug. but I have nothing that works for bugs. At the same time, I have no idea what it has. I don't want to swap out because it it might have a, whatever I put in might have a weakness to it. Oh, uh, okay, what have I got? Electrically charged tackle the target, leave the target with paralysis. Uh, also leaves the target with paralysis, guaranteed paralysis. Volt heart, okay. I'm gonna really hope that this thing does not is not electric with its resistance to paralysis, and I'm gonna just toss out a nuzzle. I want it. I want it limited. Why is it faster than me? What the fucking what? What? The f what? What? The ah! Lippy's supposed to be fast. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no! Um... Uh, uh, uh... I don't even know what first impression is. I've never seen it before! Okay, I have no attachment to the pain. 
Get out there and f hit that bug thing with whatever flying move you've got. Jesus Christ, man! Fly, please be faster. Thank you. Razor shell. What the hell is razor shell? Come on, hurt it. Hurt it bad. Say you don't have a ton of defense. Oh my god, a super effective move only half killed it. Emergency egg? What? Oh, fuck you! Fuck you, you can't just zip on out of here. Ah, great. Okay. So it's another bug. Is this guy like a bug trainer or something? He has two of them. Um... It's poison, I think. Bug and poison. I have no idea what Ariados' stats are like. I don't think it's fast. Even if it is, though, I should be faster? Like, I've got 66 for speed. That's not, that's not little. Then again, that's what I thought about Lippy. To you guys who are constantly telling me about speed, that's why I don't want speedy types. All right? <laughs> it's just one move. That's all it can take. That wasn't even a super effective shot and pff, dead. Jesus Christ. This is really appropriate boss music. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to go ahead and hope that Fly still goes first and that this thing has let, oh my God damn it. Thank you, so it is faster than me. <sighs> okay. Yeah, try to use Sucker Punch again. Consistently faster than me, Jesus Christ. Okay, good, thank you, one shot it. I mean, crit, whatever, I'll take it. Oi. Okay, 109. Oh, I'm, I'm, shit. I'm sorry, guys. I had it on for some training during the week. Somebody gave me that suggestion a while ago. It's it's just for when I'm on the bus. I don't use it for the, all the story progression battles. At least I didn't mean to. God damn it. Uh, all right. Um, the pain went faster than this bugger eye. This bug samurai. But it also lets me call him a bugger. I really hope that you were consistently faster and that wasn't a lucky shot. That move that he had against Lippy must have been one of those high priority things. Jesus Christ. All right, fly. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Razor shell again. Okay, the fly. Hit it. Knock it. Thank you. Oh. Okay, Galisa pod. That, oh. You took Lippy from me. Lippy was a Pichu. I never even got to. I never even got to Raichu it. I wanted that Raichu. I saw that How had one. I've been holding onto that stone for a while. God damn it! Ugh. Guzma, what's wrong with you? Now's the time for your vaunted team to let loose and destroy everything. It was Koo Beans, right? I'll remember you as someone I'll be happy to beat down any time. Shoulder shoves. <laughs> don't mess with the boss, yo. You don't want him to get serious. Christ. Lippy, damn it. Ugh. Have to go lick their wounds. Getting beat by a child is just doing his trials. Your one righteous God, trainer. Fuck. Oh. Woo, Koo Beans. Those are some nice moves. I can feel my soul shaking. Dude, you're not. You're not gonna wipe over this, all right? I really liked. Li I wanted to write you. <laughs> I almost forgot to give you something super important. This is a Z-Crystal for Prime Arena. The evolution of the Popplio you choose. What? I get my own? So, Prime Arena. Is that what it's gonna turn into? 
And, uh, about that mask you've got there, Koo Beans, take your goddamn wrestling mask back, Kukui, and go fucking hang out on Akala for the rest of your life. You're not dragging me into more of your bullshit. What happened to Lily? You lose her somewhere, Koo Beans. I'm right here. With, uh, creepy ghost girl. <laughs> and so is Acerola. Ace Rolla? Acarola? How is probably at a mile of status shop somewhere, eh? Hmm, he's dead. <laughs> you and the professor fought those horrible team skull thugs, Kubeans. Just thinking about it makes me worry. You sounded like a scary group. You think? Ha! I don't know. I just watch a Pikachu get murdered, but I think they're pretty alright. No, oh, I'm heading up Mount Lanakila. I gotta make sure the Pokemon League gets finished and everybody has a chance to find their own perfect move. Keep hard and you're on challenge Koo Bean Mary Magadare! Koo Beans, be sure you're not pushing yourself too hard. Made it through Sophocles' trial, huh? It's really great. You can take on the next trial up past Route 11 through Tapu Village, you know? If you get lost on the way, ask a police officer for directions. Here to serve, come with me to do some shopping. She has an even worse sense of style than anybody, I think. She literally has patches on her dress. It did clear. Sophie's trial. Explore. Fuck. I'll be by. I'll be. I'll be bad, bad. I can't even say I'll be right back because the Pokemon Center is right fucking here! Lippy. I am so sorry. <laughs> Everything about you was paralysis. You were gonna be so good. People just telling me that, reminding me that Pokemon were paralyzed, can't call for help. You were gonna be part of my catch team now. Fuck, man. <sighs> you know what? Maybe I should turn Bumbreon into a Jolteon. Fucking, I need some type coverage. I need to not have bad luck. Christ, Guzma, I hate you. All right, who's taking that spot? Oh yeah, Stanata can also evolve. I think Staryu works on a water stone, right? Do I have one of those? Oh yeah, people were telling me too that I can just sell the mushrooms. Thanks guys. Stone, redstone, pink, sugar, XXXXX, fast, fast, water stone, okay. Well, <clears throat> not gonna make that mistake again. I was holding off on Lippy, hoping that uh, she would learn more moves, and I paid the price and not having the stats for it. Stanata, you getting bumped up. Oh yeah. And there's the star me. I found another star you and I glued them on the back of each other. Starmie's dad added the Pokedex. Please tell me you got like a significant stat boost. I want to see some defenses on you. Unusual body shape, reminiscent of abstract art, led to local people spread rooms as Pokemon being be an invader from outer space. Water and psychic. My first psychic type! Okay, good. This this is good. I can actually make use of this now. Okay, good. <laughs> Good choice, me. Pat myself on the back on that one. Okay. I don't mind that I'm carrying around two waters right now. I don't know what type the next trial is gonna be. I should be okay. I swapped around some, some of uh, Stanata's moves. I think I got rid of Swift or I kept Swift. I got rid of Camouflage. Camouflage just seemed like it was kind of useless. Like. Too hard to predict? I don't like unpredictability. Oh! Now, now I, actually, I just remembered. I, I can check what that Ol Olisapod thing was. I think it was bug. No, 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 fuck off, I don't care. Bug in water? No, you're shitting me. There's no way that thing's water. I've seen bug in water types. Jizz tip is a bug in water type. That thing is not. Okay, so route 11, eh? Heading down that way this time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, 
New route. Maybe we can catch something to replace Slippy. Fuck, this feels less like I'm uh, doing so hot anymore. I'm losing guys, like, left and right. Pokemon are healthy, okay. Evolve from a swimmer, I'm a hiker who can swim. Get another type by evolving. Thanks for that, useless guy. So those look like they're gonna be a double battle. Gonna dodge past you. I wanna try to avoid trainer battles. For now, and get to that grass patch before uh, before I fight anything. Pokemon in those in those with with those leaves in their mouths. What? I've heard that in the Kalos region there are Pokemon with those leaves in their mouths. I have no idea what you're saying with that. So I bet I can run past this guy when he's ah, down. There we go. Oh, a Zygarde piece. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Check on the root this time. What is root 11 composed of? Connects Melee City with the nature surrounding it. This one leads to a rough mountain trail, and it looks like the rough mountain trail will be Route 12. So we don't have to worry about it this time. How Mount Hokulani? Yes. Route 11 is just the grass. Cool. Hi, <sighs> who's up first? Bob Jr.? You have got the, uh, uh... No, wait, you don't have the full swipe anymore, do you? I think I got rid of it. So let's catch a thing here, and then we'll call this one a done. Found a quick ball. Okay, yes, and I know, um, like I was saying before, I need to try to catch more things in the daytime, but today is just its a matter of timing again. I gotta get this stuff recorded on Friday, and I'm probably going to be going uh, over to some friend's place to hang out tonight when it would be daytime, so... I want to get some daytime Pokemon too, trust me on that. But it is moon, so it's kind of fitting that we're always in the night. What have you? Okay, so I can get an Ariados. Sure, I guess. That's not new or exciting in any way, but it's a thing. So I'm Fire and Ghost. Bug and Poison, I don't think they that anything he has should be any kind of effectiveness to me, except that he does have a dark move. But I should be able to take a dark move. Ariados's are like, they're fast, I know that much. They don't have much for defense, he might be offensive. Whatever, I need to see what he's got. <clears throat> and I can't flame charge him. Nightshade, Ghost. Ooh, right. Cursed body, Nightshade was disabled. Very good, very good. Actually, you know what? With one move down, these guys, fucking wild Pokemon are always getting me so nervous these days. I'm gonna try another quick ball. <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me, sorry. I gave it a good smack. We're still near the beginning of the fight. Quick ball's not gonna work, okay. Shadow Sneak, what's this? Another ghost move. So, what? Is ghost super effective against ghost? I'm pretty sure shadow sneak is a ghost move, right? Because predator had it. I just realized I also forgot to turn off the experience. Don't you goddamn dare. Fuck. This begins. Okay. I should go faster than them. I didn't want to flame charge the other one. This guy is weak. You're you're getting flame charged. The spillover will be extra damage. Yeah, I, I was just saying, I'm sorry, I forgot to turn off the experience share because I was distraught from Lippy. I'll turn it off. I swear I will. <laughs> Wait, isn't that? Wasn't that flame charge supposed to spill over? No, that was the move that Yardenic had, not flame charge. Okay. So false swipe. Scary face is just speed, right? Yeah, speed. 
All right, false swipe it again. No death, Nightshade. I should be able to take this hit. And another one, actually. Cursed body, Nightshade disabled. Okay, time for a ball. Quick ball is no longer the way to go with that. The more turns are taken in battle. Fastball, quick to run away, level, lower level. I could use a level ball. This thing's lower level. Yeah, let's try that. Catch this thing in a level ball. I guess I could use the poison since uh, noodle arms went down. Yeah, actually, I could probably put poison to use. I'm trying to think, I know there was somebody else I had that had poison as well. Congrats, Bob Jr. Hmm. Yeah, it's not coming to mind. Blade face grew to level 30. I I know. Oh my come on. Fucking game. Why are you making me look so bad now? I said I was gonna Okay. Cool. Plate phase is evolving. Jesus, oh, so many things happened right at the end of this one. I I wanted to turn the experience share off. But cool! Plate face, by the way, guys, has been so damn we it's even more plate e facey. It's it's a wall. It has windows. Bastiodon. How much did that defense go up? Seriously though, plate face. She's got like 60s, 70s in defensive stats, like 10 in attack. So weak. Using her to kill something. It's like you're not killing me, but I'm not killing you either. Rock and Steel lived in the same environments as Rampardos. Their fossils found together, seemingly, from after they'd fought to the finish. 329 pounds. Seriously? I've, a, I've got Pokemon that are far heavier than you. For a Rock Steel, I would expect you to, like, be the densest thing in the world. Oh, just let me get to the nickname. Long leg Pokemon. It spins thread from both its rear and its mouth, wraps its prey up, and sips their bodily fluids at its leisure. Sounds like Spider, all right. And Ariados a nickname. Yes. Name, name, name. All right, you know what? I am going to do it here, though, because I'm going to need some time to think about a name for this thing. So we're going to catch you guys in the next episode of show where uh, we're going to name the Ariados. And God damn. Damn that old lisopod thing, that bugger eye. Ah! <sighs> Hit that like button down below. Please do consider subscribing if you've not already. Share the series with anybody you know who likes Pokemon or who likes Nuzlocke. Share my pain. Share my noobishness. See you guys next time.